When I first saw the drawings of the Geary building, I, I just said that can't be built out of brick. It looked like a it looked like a squashed paper bag, a crumpled paper bag, and with the undulating folds that were in the drawings, I thought there's no way you can build that out of brick. From what you know about Frank Geary buildings, when you see them, you know the that he pushes materials to the limits and he does things with materials people don't do. So when I saw the drawings of it, you, you, you knew that it was a Frank Geary when you looked at the drawings and he was pushing brickwork to its limits to try and do something different with it. Geary Partners have a long history of using different materials in a different way. Describing the building is very difficult in words. It's probably best done by using images and, and pictures. In this project, uh, Frank Geary has designed a brick building unlike any brick building that's been designed before. I was terrified yeah. because of the shape of the building. I've never built things like that in my life. We've been doing, I've been doing a lot of arches in my life, which is arches is not a normal. I've been doing a lot of round wall, which to me that's a normal, but this is shape is not a normal. We were aware of the work of Frank. In fact, some of the designers in the office had done previous projects with Frank. And um, our office, um, based in the US, has done work with Frank Gehry before and Frank Gehry uh, buildings. So we were definitely aware of the challenges entailing um, the work and the vision um, impressed by Frank and, and his designs and the, the challenges that his designs created. The technology behind the brickwork design was, was rather complicated. We had to work out a way that we could produce a brick that would be able to be tied to the structural frame. So in that process we worked closely with ACOM engineers to, they had an idea of the ties and the restraints they wanted to use and we had to come up with a brick that would be able to do that. In the end we ended up with only five bricks. When we started there was I think 22 special there shapes were, yes, yeah. um, and we ended down, got it down to five bricks. Yeah. Just to quickly demonstrate, the system is obviously the, the threaded rod um, and the washer, the threaded washer which fits into the um, rebate and then the small washer behind which locks the bricks in place which prevents the bricks from falling inwards or outwards during construction and, and that was part inherent part of the system that um, allowed it to be constructed um, in, in and the with difficult the, with shapes. With the, um, the pin uh, mm. it enables it depending on what distance it is from the structural frame that it works with um, however far the bricks are sitting out it works with all of them so there's not a whole lot of it's the same for every brick. Correct, There's one yeah. product and it simply gets uh, screwed, screwed in, or, in or, out. or out depending yep. on the cavity size required in exactly. that position yep. as the bricklayers work through the brickwork. Yep. After many trials of making bricks all around the country at our various plants, we ended up selecting Bowerall to make the bricks. Bowerall selected um, because we realised in the process we needed solid bricks. So the dry press process is one of our solid bricks in the business. The, having a dry press brick enabled us to make the intricate shapes that we needed in the moulds to be, to be able to produce the five different shapes that were required on this project. When we found out we were awarded the project, we were extremely excited. Uh, it was always going to be a challenge but um, Barrel has prided itself on being able to uh, do the extraordinary when it comes to serving the needs of our architectural clients. The initial reaction on, on this project, on seeing the um, drawings, was uh, something that we had to be involved in. I wanted to desperately be involved in and, and, and our team. Um, but the building was short of spectacular. K and the L shaped bricks had never been made before. The K brick is a lot wider than the standard brick so we had to modify one of our older pieces of brick making equipment to, suit that, to fit that in. The L brick was something again that hadn't been made before and it was a very delicate shape and it took about three or four goes to actually get that right. We actually tried very hard to um, make it as similar and familiar for the bricklayers to do what the bricklayers do best and that is to lay bricks. So, we tried to 
to um, make the brick restraint system and the mortar um, as easy as possible um, in, or, in order for the, the, the brick layers to do what they do and lay the very, very complicated geometrical patterns and uh, lines within this, this project. Barrel has always had the ability to make special shapes uh, to suit a lot of our architects' needs. Uh, it was definitely a difficult job and we believe we've done an exceptionally good job providing the or producing the product. We actually had to build our own little mock-up and uh, get our uh, bricklayer to, to lay bricks and that enabled us to see how the bricks um, worked, uh, the productivity rate, uh, because obviously heavily cobbled uh, brickwork doesn't always sit right. Now that the project is nearing completion, um, I can see um, the vision that, that Frank Airy had in terms of his design and um, the outcome of the building. It's, it's art, um, you know, that's been constructed up there. You can tell that the time that everyone has spent on this project, all the, the team members, has all paid off. The building changes appearance in different lighting conditions and when the building is fully exposed to direct sunlight, the, the brickwork looks absolutely marvellous and it's a, an absolute delight. Every time I go past and I always drive down and do a detour down Mary Ann Street when I'm driving through the city just to see how it's going. It's an amazing building and it's going to be an inspiration for architects to, for years to come. I'm very proud of this building. But to build something like this, is, you need it to... <coughs> it is a lot of challenge. And to have something of such high calibre and profile uh, to be done in brickwork, it deserves uh, recognition and congratulatory. I think the building's absolutely outstanding. I've, I've had a visit to the building prior to its completion and the street was full of people that were in awe of the, of the design and the uniqueness of it. It's obviously something that we're going to um, be very proud of for many, many years. We've managed to do what uh, a lot of people thought was, was the impossible.